Devon Adderini reporting for WeBeBlogs.com. We've got Georg Delier and Anna Rossinelli in the house. In the house. <laughs> of course, we all remember them for taking Switzerland to the final back in 2011 in Dusseldorf. What was that moment like for you? <laughs> it was a great moment. Like, I was really, really fucked up at this moment because I was really. Yeah, like nervous. And I love a Eurovision star who swears, you know, I was so fucked up. <laughs> so <laughs> no, good. I, I was, was like... really nervous because to sing in front of 40,000 people and 160 million people on the TV, yeah. Well, were you nervous singing for Switzerland, a country that, yeah, Lissacia won back in 1900, but since... <laughs> <laughs> But but since Celine Dion was there. Oh yeah, 88, 88, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but like, Switzerland generally doesn't do very well in Eurovision, so was that like a bit of pressure for you? No, I think that was, that was even better. Because <laughs> they, they didn't, didn't expect too much of us and, and we, we didn't have to win or get far or something. So it was kind of okay, but it was still was a bad thing that everybody said in Switzerland. You yeah, want to make it to the final you don't have chances. and yes, so. You they always said that to me. Like you don't have chances. Impressive. You have to sing. You don't have to sing there. You don't have chances. It's like, yeah. Thank you so much for your oh, <laughs> so for your, yeah, for your support. I, I, but interestingly, though, Anna and Georg, what do you think about um, the the split, the jury vote, and the um, and the tele vote? Because obviously, the jury respected your song a lot. I think that's good. It's it's good that. Um, the jury votes too. I was also one of them, like maybe two years ago, and vote I think for the year after. Yeah, yeah, a year after, and vote for other Eurovision Song Contest uh, people. And yeah, I think that's good because uh, it's important that not not just one look. It's it's important that yeah. Yeah, it should maybe help a little bit from not just voting for each other's neighbor countries. But, uh, but also for, for many And the, the jury usually comprises of uh, music experts, so it's important as well that the industry respects your song. Because sometimes yeah. the population don't have a clue. They just think, oh yeah, it sounds nice, you pick yeah. it. Whereas she has nice breasts, okay, 10 you... points. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Phil, how does it feel performing under Anna's name? Oh, under <laughs> Anna's name. <laughs> um, that actually feels alright. That it, it never was different. They so. don't play real. It just. Uh, uh, she means we didn't oh. play real that time with you. <laughs> oh yeah. Because it's it's it the music right back. Back. <laughs> all, all the vocals are alive. But since then, of course, we also play real. Yeah. Just he can same. play real. <laughs> and I have seen you play real. I mean, the concert you had two days ago in Zouk was a big success, and uh, you know a lot of people. Oh, you've been there. I'm not telling you. <laughs> I'm not telling <laughs> you. Uh, yeah, Two days ago. I didn't get that right because we, we talked on the phone. And Two you days ago? Went, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. You were there in spirit. You were there in spirit. Oh, you were there. In spirit. Oh, you were there. <laughs> no, you oh, were there. Oh, okay. You yeah. don't even remember oh, okay. your concert. I thought maybe after the Eurovision Song Contest, I thought, hey, we played in Zouk, no way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, two days ago we played in Zouk. So you do one. play live. So how, how did the, the name of the band come about that you, you decided that it was going to be Anna Rossinelli? It's not just such a good story. Like when we started, it was like, we made a, like, um, um, David Klein, the composer from In Love for a while, mm -hmm. um, we put it in the internet and we didn't know which name we want to choose and then we, we said yeah Anna Rosanelli and that's why we that's to our name now. For the pre-selection for the for the Eurovision Song Contest, they had to to, to give their song and and, and, and fill the form. Name, yeah. And they just wrote Anna Rosanelli because she's Anna Rosanelli. And only later we got together. I mean, we've been a band before with a different name, but then she took us because she knew she could go to that TV show and she thought she wanted to do it with us. And so the name was Anna Rosinelli. Good choice. Now, you know, like people who don't know much about Eurovision, what's one of the tricky questions you ask? Oh, who are the members of Anna Rosinelli? <laughs> and it's like, okay, okay, Anna okay. Rosinelli. <laughs> Anna Rosinelli, yeah. But of course, there's Manuel, Myself, and George. Excellent. Next question. Next. <laughs> Next question. Look at this beautiful like. 
Oh my god, you like it? Yeah. It's Australian. <laughs> Would you compete again at Eurovision? Yeah, when I didn't do it before, I would do it again, yeah. And would you go for Switzerland or would you consider going for other countries? I would go for London, for England, because they get me United 10 points. Kingdom, actually. United Kingdom, okay, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I have to <laughs> learn it. But yeah, they gave me 10 points, that's why I'm really into it. <laughs> and do you write songs for other artists? No. Uh, no. We just um, write songs for us. Now, this album, Mary Lou, which was reviewed on Wee Wee Blogs, was a massive success in Switzerland. It was number one when it was first released, and then a year later, it was re-released, and it was in the top ten for quite a while. In love for a while. With <laughs> Mary Lou. <laughs> with Mary Lou. And your song, Shine in the Light, was also chosen as one of the Olympic anthems for Sochi. Yeah. How did this process come about? Um, that we weren't so much involved in that. That was our manager talking to the to the staff from from the from the television um, um, television thing, and he said yes, we have a song for this, and they said yeah, let's hear it. And then they met in the studio. We we uh, wrote the song. We gave them the song. They said it was good, and it was all um, backwards and onwards. And finally, they said yes, we can use it, and we they used it for the Olympic. And it was a big success. Big, big success. So that's really exciting. I love this album. I mean, so damn pretty. Let, let it go, let it go. Yeah, enough yeah. said. I love Back the album. Background singer. Yeah. <laughs> but moving on to serious matters, um, you were back to a very serious campaign with Switzerland Without AIDS, mm -hmm. which was um, a very good thing to do. How did you, what made you decide to do, choose AIDS as one of your key charities? It was really important for me because I know somebody who has this um, ill and um, disease and um, for me it was important to make something for these people. It's just a small part but I think that's a good thing to do. Because it's really important to um, the theme at the moment because like a lot of people they think uh, it doesn't matter to me, it's, it's not my problem and they have sex without condoms and I think uh, it's really important that that you say to people you have to um, you have to put on it something, you have to like uh, You have to wrap it up girl? Yeah, <laughs> wrap it up girl please. <laughs> you gotta wrap it up. <laughs> no, that, that, was, that was a very very good thing, and you also joined forces with Michael von der Heide. I think he yeah, also, he also do, yeah, uh, yes. backed this campaign. Yeah. So, what is new? Uh, what is coming up in the pipeline for um, for Anna Rossinelli? I think we're gonna make a new album, a third album, but we need a little bit of time now. Yeah. We want to write like songs now and met other people, and yeah, we. Yes, yeah, so it, it needs a long time. <laughs> it's not going to be released before end of next year, probably. Okay, yeah, because this was re-released. I mean, what was the idea to re-release this? Because you could have put all these tracks on a new album. Yeah, <laughs> and also sure, because the Olympic song was new, and you don't get some like singles. You don't have it anymore. Physical yeah, physical singles. Physical singles, and we thought it's it's cool when you have it on a like a real CD. On a real album, and we didn't have a whole album ready yet. For, for the new song, so we just re-released this one with with some with a few new songs and that was it. Great. Are you gonna make the cover? He's got a beautiful face, hasn't he? Yeah. I, I'm gonna get. Yes. You're gonna be on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. So, do you have a message for our fans and readers on the site? Message. Um, it's really hard to get messages. <laughs> it's really cool that you listen to us. I hope you like our music and then. Um, Get this CD, it's really, really cool, and I hope we're gonna see us in London somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where, but uh, like on the street, maybe. Oh, yes, yeah, we make a lot of street music. And yeah, maybe you started, we you started your career busking, yes. yeah, that's true. And we still do it, yeah, we still do it, yeah. Oh my god, do you know what? That was meant to be the end of the interview, and now we've gone back into the interview. <laughs> but basically, we're gonna turn off the camera now and have a lot more fun. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching <laughs> WooeyBlogs.com with Anna Rossellini, which Rossinelli. is the Rossinelli, <laughs> which is the name of the band. And you've got the handsome Georg Delier here. <laughs> Stay tuned for more news with Anna.